Welcome, Calculus AB. This is section 1-3, Intercept, Symmetry, Even and Odd, Functions, and Intersections. Let's begin. So, first thing is x and y intercepts. x intercepts happen when a graph crosses the x-axis, so any point there. y intercepts happen when it crosses the y-axis. To find the x-intercept, you have to set y equal to 0, then solve for x. So, to find the, the y-intercept, you set x equal to 0 and solve for y. That's because, like, on the x-axis, all the y's are 0, and on the y-axis, all the x's are 0. So, first I'm going to solve for x-intercepts. So, I'm going to set the y equal to 0, so you get 0 squared minus 3 equals x. So, that becomes x equals negative 3. My point of intersection section happens at negative 3, 0. If I were to graph that, that might be, like, out here. All right, let's graph the y-intercepts. So y-intercepts are going to happen when your x equals 0. So you will have y squared minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides. You're going to get y squared equals 3. And then you're going to want to square root both sides. you got to get, isolate that y. So you get y equals to plus or minus the square root of 3. Both are solutions. So square root of 3, if you were to graph that, that's between 1 and 2. So it's like that point and to about right here. So what this actually looks like if you were to graph it, and it's hard graphing this on a calculator, it's going to work, look like this sideways parabola going like this. Notice this is not a function. It does not pass the vertical line test. All right. Uh, talking a little bit on symmetry, I want you to know what it is. So sometimes we have y-axis symmetry. This is where a function is mirrored along the y-axis. So every, it goes this way, and then it mirrors every action over here. Sometimes we talk about x-axis symmetry, where everything, anything that does this is mirrored also going that way. And sometimes origin symmetry, although that doesn't come up much. But just to show these to you. Points of intersection. So sometimes we want to talk about where two graphs intersect. And how do we solve that without actually looking at a graph? Now, we can pull up calculators sometimes and like use the intersection function, but what if you just have two things that aren't functions? Or do you just want to do it without a calculator? So let's do this. Let's say these two examples. So basically, I just want to set them equal to each other or use substitution. So either way, let's solve this one here first. I, I might just use su uh, substitution. So I'm going to rearrange this equation. I want to isolate the x. So I'm going to add y to both sides. What I'm going to get is x equals 1 plus y. All right, now I'm going to go to that other equation, and I'm going to substitute in for that x 1 plus y. So this equation becomes 1 plus y squared minus y equals 3. Now, to solve for y, I want to expand that. So that expands to 1 plus y times a 1 plus y, and that's going to be 1 plus 2y plus y squared minus y equals 3. Uh, combining those y's, this is going to be y squared. The 2y minus y is just y squared plus y plus 1 equals 3. When you have a quadratic equation here, I want to, ice, I want to move everything to one side. So I will subtract 3 on both sides. So I get y squared plus y minus 2 equals 0. And now this is going to be a factoring thing. So think of this having a 1 coefficient here. And you can do their x factor thing if you want negative 2 and positive 1, you'll find your two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to 1 are positive 2, negative 1. So I have y minus 1 times y plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving for each of those factors, you get y equals 1 and negative 2. So the points where they intersect, there's going to be two points. And one of them happens when y is negative 2, and one of them happens when y is 1. Now, you got to figure out the corresponding x values. How do you do that? Plug into any equation. We can actually just plug into this guy. So if y is negative 2, we're going to get, I'm going to say x equals 1 plus negative 2. So x equals negative 1. So negative 1 is there. Now in this one, I'm going to say x equals 1 plus 1. So x equals 2. And put a 2 here. So here are my two points of intersection. Set them equal to each other, or use substitution, and, and there we go. All right.
that's it.